Welcome back to the Mass Concepts. Um, what we're looking at today is just a continuation of um, the January 2022 paper two um, that just held recently. Stuff. So we're looking at question two. Question two reads, factorize completely 3n square plus 15np. Whenever we are factorizing, and the term that says completely, it simply means that we have to use the highest common factor. So in this context, the highest common factor is a 3 and n. All right, so when we find that 3 and n, we open more bracket, we're going to divide the 3n into 3n to the second, we're left with n. And the 3n into 15 np, we're left with 5p. So there it is. We have factorized completely and would have collected our two marks there. Let's go further. All right, so this question now is an algebra question, and it, and it reads The diagram below shows a quadrilateral with the length of its sides written in terms of x. All right. So we could see um, the sides being written in terms of x. We're looking at them there. We're looking at them there. And we're looking at them there. All right. Now let's, let's, let's go further to see what they're asking. So here is the question. The question says, the question says, write an expression in terms of x for the perimeter of the quadrilateral. Express your answer in its lowest form. So perimeter is the distance along the boundary, which means we're gonna be adding up all the sides. So let's put it together. Let's start right here. So we have a, we have a 15 minus 2x plus 3x minus 7 plus 2x plus 5 plus 2x minus 1. All right. So let us just double. Yeah, but they did say in its simplest form. So therefore, we're going to be putting together the x's and putting together the numbers or the constants. So let's put the, the, the x's first. So we're talking about negative 2x. We're talking about positive 3x. We're talking about positive 2x again and a positive 2x. So we double check to make sure. We have right now, we're talking, let me just change the time. We're talking about negative 2x, positive 3x, positive 2x, and a positive 2x again. I'm going to put this in red, the numbers. We have a positive 15, which is for this. We have a negative seven, which is for that. We have a positive five and a minus one. So this is everything put together. So now let's simplify. When we put all of this together, we're talking about five. So this is going to give us five X, right? We're talking about negative two, positive three, positive three, positive two, positive three. This is seven minus two. So we're left with five X there. And this is basically 20 minus eight plus 12, right? So, so we're left with, so this is in its simplest form, five X plus 12. And this is the perimeter of the quadrilateral written in the simplest form. So the next part of the question is saying the perimeter of the quadrilateral is 32. So now we actually have a value for the perimeter. It is 32. Find the length of the longest side of the quadrilateral. Now, in order to find the length of the longest side, I will definitely want to, to find a value for x first. So let us um, quickly put it together. The expression for the perimeter is 5x plus 12. The actual value that was given was 32. Definitely we could employ our regular solving of equation with subtract 12 from both sides. Therefore, 5x is equal to 20, all right? So 5x is equal to 20. We're gonna divide both sides by five. So we can conclude that X is equal to four. Now in this thing, the value of X is four. 
So if the value of x is four, I now need to substitute with these sides here to find which one is the longest side. So let me go all the way up here and then I'm going to do the substitutions right here, all right? So let's do this piece here. We're talking about the longest side, x is equal to four. X is equal to four. So we're talking about 15 minus two times four, all right? So that's 15 minus eight, this side is seven. Here, we're talking about three times four, because X is four, then we take seven. So that is 12 minus seven. We're getting this side to be five CM. This is seven CM. I don't know which one is the longest one. So right here appears to be the longest, but it's not drawn to scale. I'm still gonna substitute, all right? Anyways, we're talking about two times four plus five, so we're talking about eight plus five, and that is 13 centimeter. So here we have, and then this is two times four minus one. This is eight minus one, which is seven. See so yeah. All right, so definitely the longest side is two X plus five here, and is 13. Determine all the integer values of X, which satisfy the inequality. And inequality is negative one is less than two minus four X all over three less than five. So um, we can do this in one go or we could split it, all right? So I'm going to go in one go. So in this case, going in one go, what I want to do here, let me just rewrite this, all right? So we're looking at negative one, which is less than two minus four X, this is over three, and this is less than five. All right, we can do this in one go. We're gonna multiply throughout by three, all right, to get rid of the fraction. So including this, everything must be multiplied by three. So when we do that, then we were getting rid of the denominator right there. When you simplify this, we're getting negative three, it's less than two, minus 4x, which is less than 15. That's fine. In, in number two here, we want to get this number two out right about now. So we're going to subtract two, all right, throughout. Let's go again. So we're subtracting the two there, which means I have to subtract two here. I'm subtracting two here as well. So let me simplify again. So in simplification, we have a negative five here, less than, now I have negative four X, and then I have less than 13. That's what we have now. The thing is, I am going to have to, now I intend to get rid of this negative four. Remember the rule of inequalities when you're solving in equations. If you multiply or divide by a negative number, the signs will flip. So this is what is going to happen now, all right? We will, have, we will have the signs being flipped. So let me go up a little bit. Let's go up a little bit in an effort to flip as I go, right? Right there. So now I'm going to rewrite this because I know I'm going to divide by this negative four. So basically it's like negative five will be divided by negative four. This sign here will now flip. So this is negative four X divided by negative four. This sign will flip because I'm dividing by negative four. So the signs will flip based on the fact that we um, were dividing by negative four. So what we have now is five over four, which is greater than X, which is greater than negative 13 over four. All right, so, so quickly, this is the solution. However, um, the question wanted um, us to represent this, giving all the integer values between that, right? All the possible into, let, let's look at what the question actually said, check this out. So that's the solution, but we have to respond accordingly. Determine all the integer values of X which satisfy the inequality. So we're gonna to try to find the, the, the integer values between this. Why not?
by four, and that's gonna give us, so this is one and a quarter. This is actually 1.25. I'm just putting it so that we can put all the answers that they want from us, right? So not stressing it, just putting it out, playing it safe. So um, this is negative 13, so negative 13. So I'm just putting 13, what's gonna be negative? We're dividing that by four and you see we get, so this is actually negative 3.25, all right? So we have negative 3.25 right there, negative 3.25. If you go on your number line, if you go on your number line, I'm just saying, all right, you'll have a negative 3.25 here and all the values coming back to positive 1.25 here. The thing is though, it says that, it says that X is actually, X is actually less than this. X is less than this, but it is greater than this. So we're talking about the integers between, between these. We're looking for the integer values between this, because it, let's go again. X is less than this number here, but it is greater than, let me, let me highlight what I'm saying because maybe the screen is not showing. So let me green this up. We're saying X is less than this, which is this. X is less than that. And at the same time, X is gonna be greater than this, right? So we're seeing what we're talking about. In other words, X is gonna be greater than this, is going this way and less than this is coming this way. We want the integers between that. Now, if you check this out, there is a negative three about here, and there is a, and there is a positive one about here. So we're talking about integers that moving from negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one. These are the possible integers that satisfy this. Because remember, it says that X must be less than 1.5. So it's less than it to the left. So like from one going back, and then it must be greater than negative 3.25, which will be start at negative three here. So these are the five integers, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, and the one. And there you would have captured your marks there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to Delimax Concept for more videos coming out. Thank you.